We begin with a powerful drama unfolding today. American families demanding answers from the biggest car company in the nation. They are families who lost loved ones in crashes linked to faulty ignitions. And adding to it, Congress putting the new head of the company in the hot seat. ABC's chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, there, and she brings us the news today. With photos of their lost loved ones in hand, family members of General Motors crash victims made their way to Capitol Hill today seeking answers. We're the voice of our daughters who can't speak for themselves today. Jane Reimer came here because her 18-year-old daughter Natasha was killed, along with 15-year-old Amy Lynn Rademacher, when this Chevy Cobalt's ignition failed on a Wisconsin road in 2006. The power shut down, the steering wheel locked, there were no brakes. At least 13 deaths have been linked to the faulty ignition switches, which can turn off power unexpectedly. Many of the crash victims were young people driving their first car. Mary Barra is a GM veteran who recently took over as CEO. Today, she faced Congress. Today's GM will do the right thing. That begins with my sincere apologies, especially the families and friends who lost their lives or were injured. But Vara was pressed on why the company decided for nearly a decade that fixing the ignition was too expensive. Documents provided by GM show that this unacceptable cost increase was only 57 cents. Is the company responsible? Does GM accept responsibility for the accidents caused by the company's defective vehicles? We apologize for what has happened and we are doing a full investigation. GM has now recalled more than 2.6 million cars with faulty ignitions. You claim that never once did this ever cross your desk in the last decade. What do you say to the families? How do you explain that to them? There is a, a specific group that goes through and looks at when there's a, a, an incident. I was never a part of that process on this issue. An open question is what the company will do for the victims. There's no amount of money that can replace my daughter, um, but I do want justice to come out of this, and that's why I'm here. As we said, a powerful day, and Rebecca joins us now. Rebecca, we also saw a familiar face announced today, someone coming in to help on this story. Yes, GM has hired a very well-known disaster response uh, individual. His name is Kenneth Feinberg. He helped set up the victims' funds after 9-11, the Boston Marathon bombings, and the BP oil spill. A very well-known name in that space, Diane. All right. Thank you, Rebecca, for reporting in and also in Washington today.